Hello all, welcome to the SOLIDWORKS part modeling tutorials. In this video I am going to show you how to model the shaft support. So here I am going to start from the top view. Initially I am going to model the three circles, then I am going to extrude it. Open SOLIDWORKS, create a new part. and select the top plane, click sketch, draw three circles. So the inner circle diameter is given in the drawing as 50 mm and the outer circle radius is given it is 15 mm so the diameter is 30 mm. Here also the diameter is 30 mm and the distance between these two centers are given as 35 mm. Similarly here also 35 mm. So here you can see two colors, one is in black color and the another one is in blue color. So if it is in black color then it means the drawing is fully constrained. So here blue means it is not fully constrained. So what I am going to do is click control, click the three center points and make it as horizontal. Now you can see the difference. Then go to line and draw a straight line between these two circles. Similarly draw another straight line. Similarly do it in all the four sides. Next I am going to make the lines as tangent. So click control, select the line and the circle and make it as tangent. Similarly click control, select the line, click the circle and make it as tangent. Similarly do it in all four sides. Now go to trim entities and trim the inside lines. Then go to features, click extrude bars and extrude this to 10 mm. Click OK. Then select the top surface, click sketch and draw a circle. And the circle diameter is 50 mm. Then go to features and extrude it to a height of 28 mm. Then inside this we have two circles, one is of diameter 30 mm for 6 mm depth and the another center hole is 20 mm in diameter. So initially I am going to draw the 30 mm diameter. So click circle, go to small dimensions and draw the 30 mm circle. Then go to future, click extrude cut to remove the materials and the depth is given as 6 mm. Then click this sketch, then go to circle and draw a new circle. So now the diameter is 20 mm and it's a through hole. So go to futures, extrude cut and extrude this up to surface and select this surface. Now we have created the central hole. Next I am going to create the left side hole. Select this surface then click sketch. So to view in a normal direction you can use the shortcut control plus 8. And select a circle, draw a circle. and the diameter is given as 12 mm. Now this circle is under constraint. So select this circle and click control then select this curve 
and make it as concentric. It means both have the same center. Then go to features, extrude cut and up to the next surface. Now I am going to use the mirror option to create another hole here. Go to mirror and initially you have to select the mirror plane. So here I am going to create the mirror about right plane then features to mirror the extruder cut then click OK. So finally we have to create a small hole here. So for that you can select the right plane click sketch and click Control 8 to view in normal direction then select circle and draw a circle. So the circle diameter is given us 6 mm and from the top edge the distance between the circle center is given in the drawing as 12 mm. Now here it is an under constraint so click control select the center point of the circle and the origin and make it as vertical. Now go to features click extrude cut. So if you want to change the direction of the cut then you can click this and I want to create a cut up to this surface. And click OK. Now we have created the model then if you want you can apply the material click right click on the material select edit material then I am going to select AASI 1020 click apply and click close. So to evaluate your model then go to evaluate select mass properties and here you can see the mass of the model. So the mass is 586.3 grams. So you can model using the same dimension and you can verify the mass.